Good morning my lovelies, so I have just been filming and I thought as I've got my camera set up I talk to you and show you something. <laughs> so first of all Paul surprised me with another gadget. He said to me we were walking with Louis and he kept looking at his phone and I said why you keep looking at your phone so I'm waiting for a delivery. <clears throat> You will be here in 20 minutes. I bought you a present. And I'm like, what is it? I don't want another kitchen gadget. He said, well, you will see. So he bought me a mop. <laughs> Hello, Lulu. Do you want to go outside? You always do when I'm filming, don't you? <laughs> Hold on. Say hello to everybody. You don't know what you want, do you? It's just my mummy is not sitting with me on the sofa and it's very annoying. <laughs> so he bought me a mop. What a wonderful present. Obviously, oh dear, Paul doesn't do any cleaning. So, well, not mopping anyway. So, um... I have a steam mop. I love using steam mop. The only problem with the steam mop is the cord is not ever long enough. So I have to replug it when I do that side of the house. So, but I love the steam mops. Um, I can't remember which one I have. Anyway, I've had quite a few in my life. And to be honest, I am into mops, especially steam mops like I am into vacuums so I filmed a bit of that mop this one is cordless so you just charge it I haven't used it yet because it came yesterday so I ch we charged it and I'm going to use it today so I don't know what it's like but as you can see it has like um, painting rollers down the bottom and they spin and this is not a steam mop you have to put water and it comes with um, hold on so it is from Karcha it comes with this um, cleaner and you just add like a cupful to the water it's got a container and you turn it on I've, I've watched quick video there isn't much of it I think this is quite new and it looks like it makes noise like a va vacuum so it's quite noisy I'm not gonna like that so anyway I haven't tried it I'm gonna try it in a minute I'm gonna vacuum and then I will clean the floors and see what it's like so yes I've got a new mop and nowhere to put it I have um, three vacuums now and two mops so but what can you do let's hope I like it because if it's useless well we will just send it back I kept the box so we will see I don't know I, I always feel that with like normal mops with water um, that they are not as hygienic as the steam mops but I think this one has um, has a chamber where it collects the dirty water so it doesn't mix something like that I don't know much about it like I said it came yesterday and um, I will try it today now on to something much more exciting I put something again I put shoes uh -uh, stop don't tell me off for buying more shoes Shoes are everything. They can change your whole outfit. And, you know, for men it's easy. They can just have two pairs of shoes. They go with everything because they wear the same thing, jeans or trousers. We wear skirts, dresses, jeans, trousers, shorts and different colors. So we need shoes to match it. I couldn't resist those because of the color and the little heel so I do like to have to wear heels because they make you look slimmer taller make your look legs look better but I cannot run around in very high heels so even a tiny heel always adds something look at this and they were not expensive no stop telling me off I'm not listening
Look at that tiny hill, beautiful bright orange and these are from H&M and they were $19.99. So um, true to size I got my UK size 5, EU 38, um, they fit lovely on the foot, comfortable, gorgeous. If they did these in every colour, I would buy them in every colour because it's like wearing flats basically, really comfortable and just wonderful summer shoe. I hope these are still there when this video comes out. And then I bought a handbag. Again, inexpensive. Just want you know I've been into these um, greens and sometimes I feel I really would want little green handbag just when you run out just to put your wallet in and look at that isn't that sweet again this is from H&M they only did um, this in this green color and black and the shoes are in orange and in black this is such a lovely bag that was $19.99 as well uh, have a look I filmed um, that bag wearing it across my body I just think it's perfect for when you go shopping this is enough for, for a wallet lipstick mirror it's plenty let me open it there is quite a lot of space in here actually my sunglasses would fit in here um, but when I'm shopping I love my crossbody bags because it leaves my hands free you know to um, to shop and look at things shoulder bags are awful for me they, the shoulder strap always falls off and then grab bag you you know you're basically losing one hand because you have to hold your your bag so yeah I really really like it I think it looks even gorgeous with these orange shoes color just makes me happy so yes don't have a go at me for buying more shoes and bags I can't help myself I'm just trying to make excuses for, for myself also I bought a jumper so I know for you in the US jumper is a jumpsuit in the UK jumper is a sweater um, I got another gorgeous color this is from uh, Polo Ralph Ro Lauren I love these I have two white ones uh, because I have one v-neck and I have one round neck I love these they come in so many different colors every year lovely thin cotton but they are quite expensive I have never ever bought one of these for price I keep checking the website sometimes in my local department store they have sales and I will only buy it on sale so I like a bargain um, I can't remember but this one was something like half price unfortunately I think I bought it a couple of weeks ago I forgot to tell you about it so I don't think this but I know Ralph Lauren has a has sales on now in fact most retailers have sales on and now is the time to buy winter stuff because all that is discounted now with the size of these these are very fitted and i bought this one in large and i have one of the white ones in extra large and they are not too big um you can see this is not doesn't look very big for extra large um, i mean for large if you want it like really form fitting then go for your own size but I didn't want that I like my jumpers to be a bit more baggy and they don't look bulky even when they are baggy because it's such a nice thin cotton so um, yeah I go for large or even extra large the extra large in white the, the sleeves are a bit long but I don't mind that I just turn them up or you know I'll use my sleeve suspenders to keep them up but um, it's such a gorgeous color it's my color I love love aquas well you know I love all the colors really but they have to be bright and like on acid 
this little knitted top it is knit um it's from max and spencer's i bought that a while ago um i don't know if you can see it no you can't hold on it's just like this this is in a uk 12 i probably could have gotten smaller one i don't know if they still do them but it's so lovely and soft and comfortable and it's good for, for a day like today it is warm but it's cloudy so it's very light knit anyway y'all i'm going to go now and vacuum and use my mop and i come back and let you know what i thought of it Right, I'm going to try this mop. I don't even know how you turn it on. done my mopping so hmm interesting so first of all when you turn it on you have to wait a few seconds for the water to get to the rollers and because those rollers are spinning this mop sort of runs away with itself so there is no effort whatsoever you don't press um, you sort of glide it very slowly up and down so that's very easy love the fact that it's cordless uh, it makes a bit of noise but I thought it was gonna be um, louder than this it isn't, it isn't as loud as a vacuum um, if you have like dried up spillages on the floor if you could just go up and down over that a few times it just lifts it up so and it dries pretty quickly as well so it doesn't like satur saturate the um the floor with water so yeah it's quite good but if i had to compare it to my steam mop any steam mop i feel like my steam mop does the job quicker because you know you have quite a big rectangular pad and the steam really comes up and lifts everything up but then it's the cord with the steam mop the cord is a problem it's very annoying it gets in a way and also um, I have to replug it somewhere else to do the other side of the house and then now I will have to take these rollers off. I have to look at the instructions because I haven't looked at it and wash them. You just, I think, rinse them under the tap, under the tap or something. So Paul, Paul got me two, so you have two rollers in it. So he bought me another spare set and then he bought another set. The rollers are a bit more slightly coarse so maybe for like stubborn stains or something so yeah the jewelry is still out it, it's good i'm just it's just so different to what i'm used to but it does the job it's good love it that it's cordless you don't have to press and you know with my steam mop i have to put a bit of um power behind it um, it's very light as well because all the handle is like made from aluminium and the tank of water is about that much water left now the tank is about that tall and I've got that much water left so the tank of water is enough for my whole downstairs here well kitchen and the hallway yeah it's done a good job so I don't know I mean I'll, well, I don't know. 
I wouldn't, I'm not wowed by it basically. I wouldn't say, oh my God, this is like the best thing I've ever used, but I like it. So I don't know, have a look at it. I think this is quite new and see what you think. Or if you've got one, let me know if you like it. Right, I'm going to go and make myself something to eat now. I'm going to have two hard boiled eggs. I'll speak to you later. It's me again. I'm just out for a walk with Louis, our afternoon walk by ourselves. There he comes. <laughs> uh, Paul is in London today. He's gone to London for a meeting. <laughs> it's been so lovely to be on my own. Uh, it doesn't happen often these days. Paul has a, a home working contract anyway, but he used to obviously travel and go places more often till, till the pandemic. And it's been lovely. I got so much done today. So, you know, I've made a video, I've cleaned downstairs, I cleaned my bedroom and I have organized uh, some cupboards in a spare bedroom. So that just shows how much you get done when you're on your own. Having some blood breaths. Oh, it's so humid. It's cloudy, but so humid. I feel like I'm melting. Right, I'll see you later. Hello, my lovelies. I'm just about to do my nails. I've cut them last night, but they've grown out so much. I don't know what color to do today, though. I've been wearing sort of bright pinks for a while now. But I think, where are my nails in? I think I might go back into my lovely Be My Habibi. You know, I like this pale one, especially when I've got tan. I have to fake tan myself a bit. So I'm going to redo my nails. I've just been to the post office. Oh my God, I feel so bad. So, you know, in last Monday video, I told you that one of the winners never emailed me and she emailed me. She said, I did email you. So I don't know, I somehow um, missed the email and I feel so bad. So I've just posted that package. I haven't been feeling that well for the last two, three days. I just have constant headache. I wake up with a headache. I don't know what it is, if it's hormonal. I really, really need to go and see someone, but you know, I'd rather pull my teeth out than go and see a doctor in the current climate. You know, it's like, you just feel like you are being a nuisance. You are made to feel that way anyway. Not that you can, I don't think I can even see a doctor. I mean, just to get through on the phone to make an appointment, you are like 20 seconds in a queue or something. But I might go and make the private appointment with the hormone specialist because I found her, the one that originally started my um, HRT. But it's just, I've never liked going to the doctors and now it's even worse. I think I should have all my bloods done. So I think I am going to film some um, card making stuff because quite a few of you said that you would like it. I will do like a, you know, like a maybe mini series for absolute beginners. Um, and I'm quite excited about it, but I worry that I might get back into it. And that's not too good. It is good if I can do it now and again, but you know, Nisha gets obsessed with things. I don't have my Yal mug today. Max is in France 
went on holiday to France and Belgium uh, so he's been sending me pictures and little videos it's so beautiful he's having such a good time I, I think he's coming back today so I should see him but yeah he's been having a wonderful time my eyesight is getting worse and worse oh by the way very often and this probably doesn't matter then I will say it here because not everybody will see it people say oh you should do a video on how you do um, your nails and I have a whole playlist all about nails and yes it's old because there isn't anything else really that there is to share about nails um, it's old but there is a video on how I do my gel nails and it's still valid because even though I'm using different products the, the method is exactly the same you know doesn't matter which which um, gel you're using they will all have base coat color and a top coat um, so you do it the same way so I don't see the point of me redoing the video so I will um, link it here that playlist um, yeah I think there is a um, video on how I do gel nails there is a video on how to grow your nails how to look after them and the rest is probably showing you colors of I think it was Madame Glam and Shellac the gels that I was using those de days it was a long long time ago but yeah have a look at that if you want to know about nails so I'm like filing the top coat off and then I will soak it in these foils Actually, I've got a new thing from uh, my gel, Magic Gel. This is quite good, especially for toes, because, you know, it's difficult to do your own toes. But even when you're doing someone else's toes, to soak off the gel from toes is very difficult, especially uh, the big toe these are sometimes too small to wrap it round and the toes are so close together it's just a nightmare so this gel basically soaks off your color gel so again you have to file the top layer of your gel and then it's very thick and gloopy and you paint that on the top of it and after about six minutes uh, the gel sort of breaks up and comes off so I really like this but sometimes depends how thick your gel is applied the not everything will come off with one layer of this gel so then you take off what you can and then you paint it on again so I don't use it on my fingers because if I do it with foils I just have to do it once but for toes it's been amazing honestly i can't see anything anymore especially so i've been very unhappy with my eyebrows lately i think i have to start using a magnifying mirror to do my my eyebrows because obviously i can't put glasses on and then do my eyebrows um, but yeah, I can't, I can't see properly anymore. It's very annoying. I am even having trouble now. Please don't ask me about my glasses. My glasses are very old. These ones are the Timberlands. I've had them for years. So even when I need new lenses, I take the same frame and they just put them in my old frame. Yeah, the basic. Oh, even with my phone, when I look at my phone, um, I have to go like this. It's just getting really bad. My roots are so bad now. I can't cope with my hair. I barely ever wear it down now. Maybe once a week I wear it down. 
um, I badly need them done but my hairdresser is on holiday right now I think actually she might be back or be back any day now so she's gonna come and do my hair I have my headphones on I always have them on they are turned down so I am listening to what you're saying I'm not being rude it's nice you're keeping me company while I'm doing my nails because it's such a boring affair that's why I always have my headphones in this is probably a problem that means that any stroke I don't like silence I have to constantly talk or listen to something I'm not very comfortable with with silence so you know if you like talking to someone that you don't know that well or even someone you know well and you know some people are more talkative than others and I, I found that when I used to do nails <laughs> with clients um, and sometimes there would be a gap and no one would be talking and I find that so uncomfortable and I would just have to talk about anything because I don't like the silence. What is that? Any psychologists out there? What's my problem? Not comfortable with silence. Right. Wrapping them up. This is the worst bit, taking it off. Don't enjoy that bit. Right, one hand done. I can't do the other because it's very difficult to now take these and wrap up these nails. That's the problem. When you're doing someone else's nails, you can wrap up both hands. But when you do it for yourself, you have to just do one at a time. So it takes twice as long. I've kept my mop. Um, I am going to use it do you know i even thought especially in bathrooms is quite good especially upstairs uh, because um, the steam mop again is the cord and it's quite big to get round all the nooks and crannies so i thought that mop will be quite good upstairs for bathrooms so i have kept it Right, I'm gonna get on with my nails because I will have to concentrate in a minute. So I'm not going to be able to talk to you. Right, I've done my nails and I don't like it. <laughs> I do this all the time. So you know, I was gonna go for that pale pink and I went for that. This is not actually giving you the true color. I'm gone. not anyway what I did I thought I don't really like red but I chose the indigo marlin and it's like an orangey red and I thought oh it's too orange I want it bright so I did the first coat with that and then I topped it off with semi lac neon pink uh, so that's what I ended up with this is not it's a bit brighter than what you see anyway I don't like it but I have to put up with it now for at least two weeks because I do my nails like every two weeks so I do this all the time I can never make make a decision when it comes to painting my nails so there you go right battery is running out so I'll speak to you later good morning so we are back at Virginia Waters, uh, it's a, another lovely day, <laughs> I know, I say it every time but it is very unusual that for a month now we've had nice weather non-stop. So I'm not going to be filming here because you've seen it all last week. So I will just say goodbye, have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Stay fabulous. Bye.